so yeah, we are right now here with uh, our favorite guy from Slav Slavko Kalesic from Montenegro. Uh, yesterday you saw his performance in uh, Hotel Opera and uh, also the rehearsal from, uh, from the arena. And now we have some questions to you. First one, uh, do you feel fully prepared for the... Yes. Uh, for the semi-final. I am I'm really really prepared Everything so yes. Perfect. Yes, for me yes. I uh the way I expected so last day was my last one rehearsal so I am ready and hardly wait semi-final. And um who do you think who will support you more? The jury or the public? Honestly, um because it's, I think it's quite um hard to predict. In your it's, case. I think it is mm -hmm. because I, I really because I'm very honest I really prepared and made something very unique very special mm -hmm. so no, nobody is without feelings when my entry is about so I think jury will have like uh, I, I just want them to to get deep in my you know art vision mm -hmm. so to to uh, conclude and to see everything I wanted to deliver as artistic message so I, I hopefully think that they will, you know, perceive that and of course they will they will hear how I sing and everything I'm doing on the stage. So I hope my big wish is to go to the final, so we'll see. Yeah, so you can see it's love. Yes. I love you. So why uh, Polish? I love you too, baby. Why Polish public <laughs> should vote for you? Uh, because, um, you know, uh, this year's slogan of Eurovision is celebrate mm -hmm. diversity. I think I really... If we're speaking about the theme of the Eurovision, yeah. I think I'm the, the only one. I'm the only one of mm -hmm. all 40, the 42 countries 42, yeah. that that brought on the stage and all this Eurovision adventure the theme celebrate diversity in all the ways. Yeah, so we will see that if if the Polish people will just uh, so, uh, so this difference in. Uh, between all the yes. ballads and, and yes. then you were up in And you know stage, I so. made I made all the choreography and everything. Uh -huh. I am I am alone on the stage. Yeah, actually that's that's some people I wanted to ask you because it's quite common in this year Eurovision that uh, all the singers are just trying to hide the backing vocals. Mm -hmm. So why it's why why do you think oh, it's, do in you my feel case, more comfortable? In my, alone no, on it's stage? not about being comfortable. It's about my concept, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be alone on the stage and to perform and made some, my, for sure my backing vocals could not do such a very very complicated choreography mm -hmm. because I'm all the way you know from the very beginning to the end I'm in the choreography and you know I'm all, I took all the stage mm -hmm. so I, I really prepared something very you know unique and I think that just that night, yes, that night will be so magical. Because uh, uh, now, what I need is mm -hmm. is like full arena, full audience. Yes, actually, yes. you are also taking the full res responsibility. Thank for you, Edita. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell us about your braid, because I heard it's quite heavy, and it's. Do you think it's is it painful to to shake your hand with it? No, because you know when you rehearsal a lot mm -hmm. and when you're prepared in the physique sense for me nothing okay there's uh, for example yesterday i had such a messy and crazy day mm -hmm. but you know uh, as i told i'm deep in spiritualism so i always find time to relax myself and to be like a phoenix yeah <laughs> to rise so like, a rise phoenix. like a phoenix <laughs> yeah big kiss to conchita i met her like in london so we, we were connected yeah you actually met so many eurovision participants yeah, already course. from this year and from the past yeah um with uh, which singer from this year would like to collaborate in the future after <coughs> Eurovision? Maybe with Kasia, who is just behind the wall and interviewing some. Uh, she is amazing and she is so beautiful. Oh my God! Yes, yeah, she is. And we were very, we were very connected, but there is a lot of girls like Lindita, Tiana, mm -hmm. Kasia, uh, Anya. So many girls, oh, of course, I like so much, and I'm connected with him also. Imre from Israel, mm -hmm. and Isaiah from Australia. So many good songs, good, good uh, representatives. And uh, I saw there's one video from yesterday when you just uh, try to help Kasia with her dress. What do you think about her dress? <laughs> it's beautiful, white, she's like a princess, 
and she's really like not million dollar baby but like billion dollar baby oh that's very good to say to hear and yeah. uh, um i think i there's just one more question i just really wanted to ask you about that can you this pavel toy she has a boyfriend oh my god i'm her new boyfriend <laughs> yeah. kasha uh, and i were in a relationship yeah and uh one more question can you imagine that beyonce is calling you just to congratulate you about your performance oh about your eurovision God. staging what could be your reaction for that i honestly have to say that this uh because this is a beautiful question is also beside all my you know family i my eurovision performance i also dedicate to beyonce novels mostly because she's pregnant mm -hmm. and she will bring two new babies yes. and twins and i want to celebrate also her because she's such a huge inspiration for me so after that if she calls me mm -hmm. lady gaga has a song called so happy i could die <laughs> so, so just, uh, i think i think that something will happen because four years ago i was on beyonce concert and we took four cans you know it was mm -hmm. for a concert in belgrade arena i made such a huge connections with her choreographers uh, one of them has in braille sport he's my good mm -hmm. friend uh, one of them also towards wilson so i think next step is beyonce you know i have no limits of course, Everything yeah, I want, I do it. So, uh, my my message and my mission about Eurovision Adventure, of mm -hmm. course, besides that to sing, to dance, and everything, is to deliver a message that everything is possible, only if you really believe it a hundred percent, and if you're true to yourself, you know, without any kind of fake, mm -hmm. any kind of false, or like like being a human being. You know, I don't care because uh, there was a. I think that I made a huge revolution in these years because I'm very surprised. Why? Because this is 2017. We live in a 21st century when everything's like so, every, all kind of arts. And Slavko Kadesic from small Montenegro came in Eurovision and made a huge, like, cosmic impact. And that's a big compliment for me, you know, because I improved that energy is everything, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I truly believed in that. So that is my my you, the biggest mission in this Eurovision adventure so the biggest mission is just to uh, to do that but also the goal is to qualify to the final of course and uh, I would like just to teach you three Polish words which okay. is um, I love you Poland so it's kocham was Polsko and you can just say that to kocham kocham was was Polska Polska yeah kocham was Polska and you can see the hearts for you Thank you so much for your other day. I couldn't have the you Oh so my God, so beautiful comments. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, so thank you very much and hope to see you in the final with Kasia and... Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you I so much. I wish you good luck. Yes. Thank